they were some of the unsung heroes of the Cold War, U.S. airmen who manned the radar domes on the Wasserkuppe. There were three radar domes then, one remains today, but of course, it's used for a different purpose. The guests were welcomed at the Grunhof House, named for a pioneer in glider flying. The complex was used as the headquarters of the 616th Aircraft Control and Warning Squadron from 1960 to 1978. Then the entourage proceeded up the hill to the site of the new memorial, accompanied by some vintage military vehicles. The three pillars are entitled the Silent Sentinel, Guardian of Freedom, to honor those who stood guard on the border with communist East Germany. One of the main organizers of the event is Jim Harkins, who served on the Wasserkuppe in the 60s. We were the uh, silent people that were forgotten. And I said, well, I'm gonna put a stop to this. We wanted to show everybody, future generations, that here on the border between the East and West, the Americans stood in the Cold War and defended the, the German people. Now there is a permanent reminder on this mountain for visitors to this place of the role Americans and NATO service members played here during those dangerous years on freedom's frontier. On the Wasserkuppe, I'm Gary Bautel, AFN News.